Hi, it's Luke from WeldPro. Today, I'm here with part one of the MiG-155 series where we're gonna unbox this thing and show you exactly what comes in the package. When you receive your welder, it'll be in a brown box like this. Let's go ahead and open this up and see exactly what comes in the box. The first thing you'll find in the top of the box is the manual. Keep this at a minimum for reference when you're setting up. There will be some large protective chunks of foam in your box. Go ahead and just set these aside. This box will contain all of our parts and accessories. We've gone ahead and taken everything out of the box and we've got the machine on the table. I'm super excited to look over this, but let's go ahead and look through the accessory box first. We've got lots of different goodies in this box. We'll start with an electrode holder or a stinger for stick welding. The beauty of the 155 is it also runs stick very well. Next, we find our ground clamp. These ground clamps are great. They have nice strong springs and make great contact with your workpiece. We also have the gas hose to go from our tank to our MIG welder. This adapter that comes with your machine allows the 240 volt plug to plug in and then you plug the other into any standard 110 volt wall outlet. The MIG-155 also comes with a small spool of self-shielded flux core wire. This will help you get started welding. In this white box we have our flow meter. This will help to regulate the gas flow from your high pressure cylinder down to your MIG welder. Leave this in the box for now so it's protected. We'll show you how to set this up in part two. All right, the small clear bag we got came with a few different things. There's a multi-purpose wrench in there to help you install and remove contact tips and other parts on the MiG-155. There's also two contact tips, sized 035 and 030. These will accommodate multiple different wire sizes that you'll use in this welder. You'll also find a small spool tensioning spring in the bag. We'll show you what this is for in part two. And lastly, we have two drive rolls. These are the small rolls that feed the wire through the MIG welding gun. You'll notice that one of these rolls is smooth and one of these rolls is knurled. Knurled drive rolls are used to push flux core wire, while smooth drive rolls are used to push a solid MIG wire. We'll explain a little more about drive rolls in part two where we set this up. You'll immediately notice that the power cord and the MIG gun come pre-installed on the MIG-155. Go ahead and untwist this cable. We don't want to have any kinks in it. Now that we have our machine and all of our components laid out in front of us, this is a great time to go ahead and put the welder together. Join us for part two of the 155 series where we show you how to completely assemble this machine and get ready to weld. Thank you so much for joining us today. Look out for part two of this series where we'll show you how to assemble this machine in its entirety and prepare you to weld. Please take a moment and hit that subscribe button under the video. Here at WeldPro, we're committed to releasing how-to and tutorial videos on all of our machines to show you how they work and to help equip you to become a better welder. From all of us here at WeldPro, thank you so much. We can't wait to see what you build with your MiG-155.